Imagine a future where humanity holds the power of an entire star in its hands. What if we could build a structure so colossal it encases the sun itself, capturing every last photon of its energy? This isn't science fiction. It's the audacious concept of a Dyson Sphere. And today, we're going to explore the mind-bending possibility of building one, the challenges that stand in our way, and what it would mean for the future of our civilization. Our world runs on energy, and we're using more of it every year. Fossil fuels are running out. Renewable power is growing, but it's still limited by Earth's weather, geography, and storage. But above us, just 150 million kilometers away, lies the sun. Every single second, it radiates more energy than humanity has used in our entire history. To put it in perspective, the sun emits about 380 septillion watts. That's a number with 24 zeros. Right now, Earth only catches a tiny fraction of this gift. So what if, instead of being bound by Earth's limits, we could capture the sun's full output? This is where the Dyson Sphere comes in. In 1960, physicist Freeman Dyson imagined a bold future. Advanced civilizations would surround their star with a shell, harvesting nearly all its energy. But here's the catch. A solid sphere is impossible. It would collapse under its own gravity. The real vision is a Dyson Swarm, millions, maybe billions, of solar collectors orbiting in precise formation, each one acting like a giant solar panel in space, beaming power back to Earth or to colonies across the solar system. Think about it. The International Space Station is one of our greatest engineering feats. But a Dyson Swarm would make it look like a Lego toy. We're talking about a project spanning planets, using resources from asteroids, the moon, and beyond. Here's the hard truth. Building even the first pieces of a Dyson Swarm would be the greatest engineering challenge in human history. First, the materials problem. To construct millions of solar collectors, we'd need more raw material than Earth can provide. That means asteroid mining on an industrial scale, harvesting metals like iron and nickel from space. Some studies estimate we'd need 10 to the 24th kilograms of material, an amount so vast it's almost beyond imagination. Second, the orbital mechanics. Every single collector must stay in perfect orbit without colliding. Billions of autonomous machines working in harmony, guided by AI. And third, the timeline. This isn't a century-long project. It's the work of multiple civilizations across millennia. We might not live to see its completion, but we could start laying the foundations today. But what would it mean if we succeed? A Dyson Sphere would give us more energy than we could ever use. No more scarcity, no more limits. Energy to power interstellar ships, terraform planets, and fuel technologies we can't yet imagine. It could transform us from a planetary species into a cosmic civilization, what scientists call a Type II civilization on the Kardashev scale. But with great power comes great risk. Who controls the energy of a star? Could nations or corporations weaponize it? Would humanity unite or fight over ownership of the cosmos? And what about the ethics of dismantling entire planets or moons just for raw material? These are questions we can't ignore. A Dyson Sphere may be thousands of years away, but the journey has already begun. Advances in robotics, AI, solar technology, and space mining are stepping stones. Private companies are already experimenting with asteroid mining. Solar satellites are being tested to beam energy back to Earth. And artificial intelligence is rapidly evolving into the kind of coordination system that could one day manage a Dyson Swarm. The real question is, do we stay confined to a single fragile world? Or do we reach for the stars and build something that redefines what it means to be human? The choice is ours. The future is waiting. And the sun has been shining for billions of years, offering its energy freely. The only question left is, are we bold enough to take it? If you enjoyed this journey into the future of astro-engineering, make sure to like this video, share it with a friend, 
and subscribe for more explorations into the wonders and challenges of humanity's cosmic future.